So today we are going to see how can we have a SQL server on Azure machine. So we select. So we are going to portal.azure.com and here we select Azure SQL. So we select Azure SQL and here in let me click on the create button. So it shows us what is it that you want. So do you want to create a SQL database or do you just want to create a SQL managed instance or do you want to create a SQL virtual machine? So herein we are selecting the image as we want to have free SQL server 2019 developer uh, developer on Windows Server 2019. Click on create button. So we create a new new resource group. Let me give it a name. SQL virtual machine resource group. Click on OK. And we want this one to be um, SQL Server Virtual Machine. And we want it to be in, let's say, in East US. And security type. We leave it as the start uh, as the standard one. This is the image we want, and as your and leave the rest of the things as it is. And here in we see all the sizes. So this is the one which is the least one. Uh, so we select this DS1 V2 and administrator account we give the username and rdp3389 we are using uh, licensing this is fine and click on next disks this is fine so we leave the standard ones premium ssd local redundant storage so these are the three types that we have the premium one is costly but uh, it gives us better performance and similar and uh, click on the last one use the manage disk and this one is fine click on the next networking and uh, it is going to create a new vnet and a subnet it is going to have a public ip uh, basically it is going to we can create a new one as well let the default be as it is load balancing we don't want next is management enable with the managed account this is fine and we we a one check means it should not be checked enable shutdown so we can do it ourselves so now the uh, um, this updates any if any they'll be installed by itself so we can see this in the automatic os so click on next advanced so here in vm preview custom data if you want heavy if you provide if you want to have any and the next one is quite important SQL Server settings. So here in we see this, what is the configuration that you want to have? So we can change the configuration. So instead of having the one with the higher disk, so maybe 8 GB because we are just using it for our testing purposes. And the rest of the things are okay, I think. So we can use the existing drive as well, share the drive for the logs. So it will mean that we'll have in the it will have the lesser cost. So let with separate and here in also we can have just 8 GB. So this should be fine. 
temp db use the local ssd drive this is fine click on ok and click on next tags so tags tags basically you can you can use them for checking the cost so how much is the cost involved for this particular resource that is how much is the resource how much is the cost this particular resource has consumed next we click on review plus create so it is going to tell us how much it is going to cost. So it will be about 9 rupees per hour in terms of India. So we click on create button. So it is going to take some time. I am going to pause the video. And submitting the deployment. So now the deployment is complete, we click on go to resource. So this one is available. So what we can do is we can click on connect button using RTP. So this is a public IP address. We can click on this file on this ID. Click on open button. Show us the screen like this, click on connect, enter the username and password that you supplied. Click on OK. It will show us the alert again. Click on yes. In the window, we can see this. We are able to connect to it. So, yes, so now we click on local server. Here, and we need to download the file. Uh, so we say that I enhanced protection we switch it off click on OK button okay, now we are going to connect to github adventure works 2070 dot click on it and we click on save as we save it to c drive program files Microsoft SQL Server and MS SQL 15 MS SQL backup click on save button let me also download DW2017 dot back file or not 2017 it should be 2019 I should download do we have something for 2019 as well oh, we do have ok and adventure works 2019 Is. okay now I am going to restore this so I type in the service because our manager
so this is the machine that we have so I'm connecting to it let me restore the databases restore database and it is available click on the add button let me restore 2017 2019 and DW 2019. Click on OK. Oh, it has taken the first one only. Click on OK. So we restore the second one. Click on OK. OK. So let's have a look at the data from this table. So we can see this is available. Now we want to connect to the SQL Server, which is deployed in SQL Server Virtual Machine. So we go to the our resource groups. So this is the SQL Server Virtual Machine resource group that we have created, and this is the virtual machine that we have. And here, and this is the public IP that we have. Okay, so we go here and we are connecting to this one, this IP address, and using the SQL Server authentication, we want to connect to it. Okay, so for this, we need to do some of the things. So first, is we click on the networking. Here, in we add the inbound rule. So we select the service. Hmm, MS SQL service to allow to be allowed. Click on the add button. So it is creating the rule. So this one is done. and thereafter it is done now so now we go to the server that we have this is the one public ip address and we go to we connect to this one which we have already done so we have already connected to it and herein we create a new user so we have connected to the sql virtual machine here in we'll have in the security logins we see that we are going to create a new login let's say using the sequence of the authentication the login name And we uncheck enforce password policy and in the user mapping we see that it will have the access to these databases adventure works 2017 19 and dw and he's the owner of all of them okay and we go to 
the SQL Server Configuration Manager. SQL Server 2019 Configuration Manager and in this one uh, so this is the server we have and in the network configuration we verify that the protocol is enabled and TCP IP is enabled and this is the IP address which, which will be we will be connecting on the TCP port 1433. We cancel. Now let me go to the virtual machine again. Virtual machine, we right click on the server properties, and here we see the secure connections, uh, security. So here we change it to SQL servers and Windows authentication so that both of these are uh, allowed. So we right click and restart it. Thereafter we can come to our local machine and in the local machine SQL server so we can connect to it database engine this is the IP address that we want to connect to and after this we see comma 1433 so this is the for example we can, I can zoom in so this is the IP address so which we had seen on the virtual machine and comma 1433 is the port we want to connect to and we specify the username and password here and we should be able to connect to it.